Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Mara. I'm back with a new video. We hit 250 subscribers. I'm so, so incredibly happy. Thank you all so much, all 250 of you and you watching for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe below. So for today's video, y'all know I'm obsessed with iced chai tea lattes. I have one like almost every day. They are chef's kiss, I love them, but I'm very particular about my chais. There's certain cafes that I like to go to, certain orders that I like to have. So I'm gonna be going to a bunch of different cafes and trying my iced chai tea latte order and rating them and giving you my opinion. There's one I'm trying at home, and then the rest of them are in Philly. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's go drink some chai. Hello everyone. So we are at Rebel Dog Cafe, which is this lovely local cafe near where I live and I absolutely love their drinks so I came here to do a little taste test of their iced chai latte which I've had plenty of times before but I figured I'd give you a little taste of where I'm from before I do the city chais. So I got the 20 ounce iced chai tea latte with oat milk. Normally I get chais with almond milk but they actually don't have almond milk at this cafe for some reason I'm not sure why. So I decided to try oat milk and I'm obsessed because it makes it so much creamier. Yeah, let's try it. It's a really light chai. Usually if it's like sweeter, it'll be a darker color, but you can kind of see it collecting on the bottom. Mm. It's really creamy. You can definitely taste the oat milk and it's sweet. I really like this one. I would probably rate it hmm, 9.5 out of 10. That's what I'm thinking. Just because it is a little bit light, but it's still sweet. But I just love the creaminess, like on my tongue, it tastes really, really good. And their packaging is super cute, like the Rebel Dog Coffee Company. And they have this little dog, which is like their logo on the cup. What did you get, Mama? And they're very iced tea. Ooh. Tell the people how you like it. It's light, and I think it's for the change. Because I already had coffee and tea today, mm -hmm. so I felt like, you know. Do you like it? What would you rate it on a scale of 1 to 10? Um, 8. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's good. You had to add sugar to it though, right? Yes, to change because the flavor was too much. Too bitter? Yeah. That's okay. We like things sweet. Hi guys. So we just went to Dunkin' and we tried out their oat milk drinks. Mm -hmm. I got the iced chai latte with oat milk. Um, and I got an iced caramel latte with so we're gonna test out Duncan's oat milk. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> it's definitely Yeah, it's very <laughs> thick. It's like syrupy. Like, I don't know. It has a pudding consistency. That like, you could sense. definitely chew it or you could like, I mean, that's like dramatic. <laughs> but like, you low-key could. Yeah, it's not as watery as you think it would mm -hmm. be like for a nice coffee. I feel like the chai doesn't mix well with the milk. Like, it's just like a weird taste. Yeah. So yeah, let's rate it out of 10. Let's go one to 10. Four. Oh. Mm. Four or five. I would rate this a 3.5. <laughs> I mean, I'm still going to drink it. Yeah. Like, I paid for I mean, it, yeah, but. Yeah, you have to drink it. But, but yeah. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> That's all. Carry on with your day. <laughs> Good morning everyone. So it is like 9.30ish and I'm gonna make some chai at home to help wake me up. For today's chai, I'm gonna be trying the Trader Joe's Spice Chai. I've actually never ever tried this. My sister recommended it to me so I was like, you know, let me try it out. There's a Trader Joe's near me so if I end up liking it, I'm gonna keep buying it. But yeah, it just says black tea concentrate. It's the liquid version. I've tried Trader Joe's powder chai and honestly, I wasn't a fan. It just wasn't sweet enough for me. So we'll try this one out. And I'm going to be pairing it with some almond milk, unsweetened vanilla. The brand doesn't really matter to me. But I like the vanilla for that extra sweetness. I'm not sure if I should mix just like half and half like I normally do. Honestly, normally when I use like the Tazo chai, I'll mix two thirds of chai and then one third of milk. But I don't know how sweet this is going to be. 
It says mix one part concentrate to two parts of milk or non-dairy beverage. Ooh. <coughs> that is sweet. Okay. So definitely don't have to use as much chai. <laughs> this glass jar and a metal straw which I think looks so cute and aesthetic like when you're making chais and lattes from home I try my best to make it as aesthetic and like cafe like as possible because it just makes me feel fancier and bougier it's definitely dark so I put like one third of chai and then two thirds of milk so let's try it Ooh, that's really good that's really good. I like that. It definitely passes the sweetness test. I like my chai really sweet. You can kind of taste like the little spices in it, which is nice. I love that. Overall, I really like this and I think I'm going to keep buying it. I would give it like an 8, 8.5 out of 10. I think it's fine for an at-home chai. This one's a lot lighter and like thinner. Maybe I should try this with oat milk and see how that works out. But yeah, I do really like this and I think it's a great contender for an at-home latte versus buying it in store. Up next in the Chai Tasting Chronicles is my favorite cafe ever. It's Saxby's. I'm definitely addicted to Saxby's Chai, 100%. When I'm not around it, I crave it, I miss it. Saxby's Chai is just the best. I already know before I taste it what I'm going to rate it. So I'm sorry, I'm a little biased, but I had to include this in my chai video because it's my favorite. All right, so this is what she looks like. She's a beaut, I know. I do have to like mix the chai in a little bit. My order is iced chai tea latte with almond milk and light ice. The almond milk is so good. I don't even remember what it tastes like with whole milk. I've tried oat milk with this, but it's already very, very creamy. So I feel like the oat milk would just make it very heavy. Their chai is so good. All right, let's try it out. absolutely obsessed it's so good it's just like velvety on the tongue it's creamy but it's also like light but the thing is it's very sweet and it's heavy in flavor i call saxby's chai like real chai and like starbucks chai is like fake chai because this one you like you just saw i had to mix the chai and the milk together you can kind of feel the spices on your tongue when you are drinking this type of chai whereas like the starbucks the dunkin chai it's all like concentrate it's like one liquid where this is like clearly like two different liquids like mixing together but yes saxby's chai is my favorite and i would rate this a 12 out of 10. i think it's absolutely amazing it's my go-to. It can definitely make me happy on a sad day. I always get Saxby's chai to motivate me to do work, um, and that's what I need to do right now. So I promised myself I would start my work once I got this. I'll see y'all later. Hello, everyone. I'm back with another chai. Another day, another chai. So today I'm going to try another at-home chai blend. This one is actually my favorite. It's the brand that put me onto chai in the first place in high school. It's my favorite at home chai brand. So annoying because they only sell it at like Target and Whole Foods, I think. And I don't usually go to those places. It's the Oregon Chai, the original chai tea latte. They did change their packaging recently, so I wonder if they changed their formula. Hopefully not because it is chef's kiss and i'm just going in with some unsweetened vanilla almond milk you know it's my go-to <laughs> So let's see how it is. Cheers. Mm -hmm. That's the chai I know and love. I just like it because it's so sweet. I really have high standards for the sweetness of my chai and this just really does it. It's also like a nice consistency. It's like 
a light creamy it's just so good i love this one i'm gonna rate it like a 9.5 out of 10 for an at-home one it's really really good this is probably my second favorite to the saxby's one <music> So I'm here with the final chai to taste test. This is the Starbucks iced chai tea latte. I've tried it with almond milk before and I really didn't like it. So this is just a normal one. I'm pretty sure they use whole milk. Let's try it. It's really good. It's definitely very sweet and that's how I like it. I was saying in my Saxby's clip that I call this like fake chai and it's because it's very homogenous. I don't know how else to say it like I feel like the chai and the milk come out as like one liquid whereas like you definitely can't see the separation definitely tastes like syrupy but i do really like it i would give this a 9 out of 10 definitely doesn't taste like your local cafe's chai or like a homemade chai but it is really sweet and it's really good that is all i have for you all today i hope you enjoyed drinking those chais with me i just thought it'd be a fun video to do and honestly low-key an excuse just to try different chais it's okay this video is just justifying my addiction but I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below your chai, coffee, drink order that you like to get. Subscribe down below. And stay tuned for a 250 subscriber giveaway that will be on my Instagram. So make sure to follow my Instagram because that's where the announcement will be. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!